All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Steve Malzberg Show. Coming up in the next segment, former Congressman Michelle Bachman, and she'll have plenty to say. You could bet that. All right, we have a lot of uh, breaking news to get to, and uh, uh, the Justice Department. You know, I, I, what is it, three years since Trayvon Martin was shot? And finally, finally three years the Justice Department took to say that, oh, we can't find enough evidence to charge George Zimmerman with a civil rights violation in this case. You know why? Because, because George Zimmerman did nothing wrong. George Zimmerman defended himself. He defended himself. And I just want to read you a little bit here from the statement from the Justice Department. Although the department has determined that this matter cannot be prosecuted federally, uh, it is important to remember that this incident resulted in the tragic loss of a teenager's life. Let me stop right there. Yeah, but, but the jury determined, and you've come up with no evidence to the contrary, that the teenager was on top of George Zimmerman, pounding his head into the pavement, and what might have killed him if George Zimmerman didn't pull the gun and defend himself and shoot Trayvon Martin. You could call that the tragic loss of a teenager if you want, and the Justice Department elected to do so. And our decision not to pursue federal charges does not condone the shooting, they say, that resulted in the death of Trayvon Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, the shooting was justified. The jury ruled the shooting was justified. Of course the shooting was justified. It most likely saved George Zimmerman's life. What do you mean you don't condone the shooting? He shouldn't have shot? Is that what you're saying? This Justice Department is a piece of work and a half. Now, speaking of pieces of work and a half, let's progress to pieces of work and three quarters, shall we? Um, you know this, uh, this, this sound bite. You know it all too well. Here it is. Kids playing in the playground. Mothers picking up children after school. Civilians, not soldiers. People just trying to make it day by day. We have supported state terrorism against the Palestinians and black South Africans. And now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yards. America's chickens are coming home to roost. Yes, the man who married Barack Obama. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, well, we have a little news on uh, Reverend Wright's uh, family. Uh, in September 2013, Jerry Wright, daughter of Reverend Wright, uh, a.k.a. G.D. America Wright, um, and 12 other Democrats were charged with embezzling $16 million of uh, federal health grants that uh, should have gone to AIDS charities and other programs to help the poor and the needy. So um, in March 2014, her, uh, Jerry Wright was found guilty on 11 counts that included money laundering and lying to federal agents. And this week, a U.S. District Judge sent her to prison while she awaited final sentencing on these charges because she was out. And guess what she was accused of? If I'm reading this correctly, the Chicago Sun-Times said that the judge revoked the deal, allowing her to remain free uh, because they ruled there was probable cause to believe that she committed a theft. A theft while she was out on bail. Um, I'm laying money right now. Right now. And I mean R-I-G-H-T, not W-R-I-G-H-T. Right now that Barack Obama will pardon this Jerry Wright. W-R-I-G-H-T, on his way out the door. I'm laying you two to one odds, my friends. Lay your bets, place your bets right now. Okay, and if you want to go to character and a half, character and three quarters, let's go to character times two, shall we? All right, I'll do that for you. Let's listen to this. Do you happen to be a veteran of the military service? Yes. Really? Yes. Army, Navy, Air Force? Army. Army? Yes, what sir. unit? Special Forces. Special Forces? What years? I was in Special Forces. All right. Lady, that, that only had, that's not Brian Williams. No, 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 that's not Brian Williams. That's not Hillary Clinton. That is the veteran secretary, Robert McDonald, lying to a homeless veteran, saying, I was in Special Forces. He was not in Special Forces. Today, he apologized. Just moments ago, he apologized, said, I have no excuse. I misspoke. You didn't misspeak. You made it up. You lied. 
this man should be out of a job. But it doesn't matter. Dick Blumenthal, the senator from Connecticut, lied. He said he fought in Vietnam, and then he became senator. Hillary, she lied about facing sniper fire, and then she became secretary of state. You know what happens when you lie? Now this guy lies. I made a mistake. On with my life. We have no standards anymore, folks. By the way, like I've said before, I played third base for the Yankees. I think. I may be wrong, but I think. We're coming back with Michelle Bachman.